Well, hello to you all and uh, welcome. This is like a part two of um, my Sea Dew Life Adventures, part one, episode one, the follow up. Now, if you watched the uh, video I did the other day, you'll, you'll know that I had a kind of a major failure on my CD unit on its very first trip and left me stranded out in the lake for a while. If you're not seeing that video, um, go ahead and watch it and you can just fast forward to the 15 minute mark and it's around about the 15 minute 30 seconds uh, in the video where the actual uh, system failure happened. So anyway, today is now Monday and I'm now heading back to Oakville where I got the unit from and I'm going to try and find out what's wrong with it. Uh, I posted my video, my vlog yesterday and I've woke up to quite a few uh, reactions. Uh, a lot of people were saying that the other day, first of all, they thought it could be an IDF failure, which seems to be rampant with a lot of uh, CD models which have been equipped with the IDF. But um, this morning I've woke up to other people saying I didn't break it in easily enough. Uh, well, I want to tell you something first of all. When I picked the unit up, I was aware of a learner key and I did ask for the learner key. And I was told they do not supply a learner key anymore. The units do not come with one, which surprised me. And it was never mentioned to me or told to me that I had to break it in, in any way. Um, they just said, go out and have fun, basically. So anyway, here I am right now. I am back on the QEW. It is a gorgeous day. I should be out in the water today, um, but I'm not. I'm heading out to Oakville and they're gonna look at the unit and I'm fingers crossed it's not an IDF issue. Fingers crossed it's a safety feature and it just, I don't know, it just died and they can override it with a computer, get it fixed and I can come home with it tonight. I really hope so, because I wanna get on the water, I'm on vacation this week, I wanna make the most of it. All right, the good news is they think it's the IDF. They got the part in and they're gonna fix it. Right, I just got the, uh, the CD back 24 hours after I dropped it off. And I'll tell you what I know when I'm in the vehicle. A bit of good, bit of bad, so we'll find out. I'll let you know. Picked up the ski on Friday, brand new. Returned it, it broke down Saturday, returned it Monday, went back again today. So 900 kilometers I've traveled in uh, four days, going backwards and forwards uh, for this. And it's still only at the four day mark. So anyway, um, confirmed it was an IDF issue. It was an IDF failure, uh, which caused the ski um, to stop dead in the water uh, within the two hour mark. Um, to answer a few questions which people have put on my uh, on the uh, comments to this video, um, the, the GTX 170 does not need to be broken in. That's why it's not in the manual. Some people have said you need to break it in. I spoke to the dealer. Um, because it's not a supercharged engine, you don't need to break it in. They still say take it a little easy, but you don't need to break it in like you would with a supercharged. So hopefully that'll clear up a few things for a few other people. Okay, when the, uh, the CD uh, broke down, I immediately got in touch with uh, the dealership whilst stuck on the water and... Uh, we ran, uh, they couldn't really do much until I took it in. Uh, so in that time, I actually got reached out to uh, BRP themselves, uh, Bombardier, and sent them an email. And they were very quick to reply, so I thank them for that. Uh, they created the case number, and they were very polyegetic right away uh, to what had happened. Um, but we, we got texting, a little, well, I should say emailing. Uh, I informed them that when I dropped the, uh, the CDU off, uh, the CDU is now with a dealership. Um, they already had the part waiting. It was already waiting for them. They just informed me that CDU had asked them if I was going to be willing to uh, take on a new part, try a new part out uh, to try and resolve the issue, the ongoing issue. So they had a replacement part, but they wanted to know whether I'll be willing to try out a brand new part they wanted to try out. But that would have mean I had to wait a full week. And secondly, I'm thinking to myself, why do I have to be the guinea pig? I've paid $23,000 for all of this and they want me to be a guinea pig on a brand new unit. That really upset me a lot. So uh, I asked them to just continue with the fix with the original part they had sent. And um, I've gone with the fact that the technician 
at the dealership, he seems to know his stuff really, really well, and I can't fault him on that. He seems to, he's, he's actually put me at ease a lot. So I know he's took the time to take it apart, clean everything out, and put the pieces back together. And I'll show you some of the pictures here of the parts uh, that he actually sent me uh, so I could keep up to date with what was going on. So I really appreciate his help with that and keeping me up to date. So uh, in the picture, I'll just put up here, uh, there's a picture of the, uh, the IDF, uh, the O-ring. You can see it's completely collapsed on one of them and that's the new part next to it. And it's also got some scratches all around it. Uh, so uh, that's what they're replacing. So they took the whole thing apart and they cleaned it all out, did whatever, and they managed to put it back together. Uh, but that left me with another question. So I got in touch with um, Sidu once again. So I asked uh, Sidu uh, BRP directly, uh, the part they are putting on my uh, Sidu right now, would I be, would I be okay continuing using it? Um, I informed them I would be willing to take part in this trial if this one fails again, because I'd have no other option. But as of right now, I just want to get my CDU back and get on it. So I asked them that, would it be safe to continue using? So BRP have now said the repair should resolve the issue, but please have your dealership confirm it. As I mentioned, I am not technically trained. Uh, all I can do is advise on something. I was not uh, trained for, uh, sorry, I cannot advise on something I'm not trained for. Uh, I wish I could give you the answer you are looking for right now. Uh, you could ask your dealer to elaborate on the new part he wants to install and that it might um, bring some type of peace of mind. So they can't even guarantee me uh, that this part will resolve the issue on the IDF, which seems to be happening on several units throughout the world, really and I've become fouled to one of them. So <laughs> I can't fault the technical team at my dealership. I'm just a little pissed off with CDU BRP directly. Uh, the only thing I had a little qualm with the dealership was the tone uh, when I got there today to pick it up. Um, they use this uh, phrase, you were offered a new part. You were offered a new part. And it's kind of made me feel like I'm at fault for not taking that new part. Well, I shouldn't have been put in that position in the first place. So I didn't like that. So when I was outside picking the CDU about chatting to the service technician again, and she was actually really nice. She did say um, that the, the, the guy working on my CDU, I'm not going to give his name out because he's done a really good job. I don't know if he wants his name mentioned, so I'll keep quiet. He did a really good job. He took it apart, he really cleaned it out, everything, and he's aligned everything. And I did read on some of the comments uh, regarding this issue in many web pages uh, that it does seem to be something of an alignment. Uh, with how it was installed at the factory in Mexico. So maybe his handiwork here may have resolved it, but I just didn't like the tone uh, from BRP and also how they use that little thing you were offered. So anyway, um, that was the update. So it was an idea failure, folks. So if you've got a new unit coming, be careful. Anyway, on another really annoying note, I just got home and I found they've closed all the ramps around here now. I guess it's in anticipation for the long weekend, but uh, all the ramps, are now closed, so I can't even go out. I'm back. All right, things changed. Uh, Andrew, who I was out with um, the other day, has just texted me. He found a ramp earlier on this afternoon because the one near us at Point Avenue where I live is closed. They've uh, closed it off. And I don't think that's town property, so I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, he's found another one, so I'm gonna meet him at Tim Hortons in Fort Erie, and he's gonna take me to this other location, and we're gonna go and play on the river. Thank you. 